sponsored by Kangook. Today, we went for a flight to go to Lazy Springs. Here, we have Brett trying to take off. Brett had not flown in a year. There's Brian coaching him through. Success. So we told Brett fly north and hang out for us and wait. His wing was a little bit slower than ours, so he took off first. Took off with the uh, the new Hydron. Beautiful. Trimmed in a little bit because I had to wait for some folks. Here goes Brian taking off. Scotty boy with the power forward. There we go. Scooting in his chair a little bit. Scott and I made our way over to uh, the west side, no, the east side of the airport. Did a little low flying amongst the fog. There's beautiful tracks down here where you've got lots of opportunities to fly for a while with your out being just a um, like a little track. Then we got treated to a beautiful sunrise in the clouds. Scott got this video of me flying up and above these beautiful, beautiful clouds. Came back down. Started to proceed toward Lazy Springs. And once we got there, I noticed there's a ton of people camping. Tried to stay away from them. But there were people on their four-wheelers and dirt bikes, so we couldn't have been bothering anybody too much. And as you can see, we got a bit of a headwind here. I was hoping that guy on the dirt bike would try to race me or come up next to me, but they were all just watching. I got waved over by this family. They were jumping around, so did a little low pass by them. As you can see, that water's super, super shallow, but you still got to wear your flotation. One of the dirt bikers down there. Now, if you faced north, you were pretty much parked. Came down, swooped this little spot here. I saw a guy on a four-wheeler waiting to come down toward me, so I went up in the air a little bit. A little wave. Right here's a good example of whenever you get to see a tree line, as long as you got enough speed and energy to pop up over it, use your best judgment, but you can, you know, just like in your dreams, pop up in the air and fly over things. It's awesome. Farming some ghosts over here. So we started heading back, and I'm looking for Brett. Because we only stayed at that at that uh, park for only about eight minutes. I'm not seeing Brett anywhere. Well, Brett happened to actually be right over here in a tree. He ran out of gas. We didn't know. I didn't know. Brian came in. Nice landing, Brian. Scotty boy came in. Very nice. I came in, I landed perfectly, got to pop the uh, Hydron up in the air and do a little kiting. Very easy to kite, one hand kiting. And right about this time, I could hear them saying, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go save Brett. So unfortunately, Brett tried to take off with too few gallons of gas for the headwind we were dealing with and with his larger, easier to fly uh, wing. So we were out and about, out in the farmlands. He was stuck on the other side of this ditch in a tree. The buzzards knew that we were just following the buzzards to find him. There's his car and then he was stuck behind the fence. We actually had to get the police involved because he was trespassing, so we had to call the police on him, unfortunately. 
And uh, there's the police officer ready to arrest him. Thank you, officer. Brett came down. And this is where he ended up landing. Right in the tree right there. So our takeaway from this is bring enough gas and if you have to land out, try to not land in a tree. Thanks guys. Brett got 75 years in prison.